everyone wants their photos to look better. But not everyone has the time to go through and correct them one by one. In a moment, I'm going to show you some before and after images, and I want you to know that all of these results were achieved in just one or two clicks. Check this out. Whenever I get back from a photo shoot, many times I have several hundred images to go through and process. And that means finding which of those photos have the greatest potential. That's why the first thing that I do is drag and drop all of them into Photo Lemur 3. Now, I've mentioned this piece of software before on my YouTube channel, but there's some new features in the latest version that I think you guys are going to enjoy. First, let me start off by saying that this software is available for both Mac and Windows users. There is no subscription fee, which is a very good thing. There is support for camera raw format, and you can even batch process too. If you're the kind of person who has a lot of older photos that have not been digitized, I also encourage you to watch this class. Not only because I'm going to show you how to use Photo Lemur 3 to improve the look of those older photos that were not digital, but I'm also going to show you a really cool, fast way to digitize them that does not require a scanner. It involves your smartphone. Keep watching the video. You're going to like that part. I want to teach you how to use this piece of software, so at this point, let's switch over to my Mac. There's technically a few different ways that you can access Photo Lemur. For example, you can literally just drag and drop a photo or even a folder of photos into the app and go from there. If you use either Photoshop or Lightroom, Photo Lemur does have third-party plugin support. To set that up, just go up here to the top left and click into the app and you'll notice the second item down is Install Plugins. So from here, you would just click the install button next to the app that you own. I know a lot of you guys use the Photos app that comes with your Mac. So at this point, I'm going to walk you through how to install Photo Lemur's extension so that you can access it from right within the Photos app. Just go up to the Apple icon at the top left of your Mac and go into System Preferences. From there, we're going to go into Extensions. And in this list, you're going to scroll down, and somewhere down here at the bottom, you should see Photo Lemur 3, and we just want to make sure that that box is checked so that we can access this feature from inside the app. At this point, let's go into the Photos app so I can show you how to pull it up. So here you can see I've double-clicked on a photo, and now I'm going to go and click on the Edit button here at the top right. Next, let's click on these three little dots that you see up here, and from there, you can see Photo Lemur 3 appears here towards the bottom. So as you can see, there are several different ways that you can get your photos to talk to this application. It just all depends on how you store your photos. At this point, let's drag and drop this folder of photos into the application, and you'll see that the thumbnails instantly start to update. Now, let's double click on one of these images. And this is the part where the artificial intelligence comes in. And check it out, there's the before image, and there is the after image. Now, if I minimize this application for just a moment, you'll notice that I am using that same image here on my desktop. But I do tend to use other apps in addition to Photo Lemur. For example, I wanted to add my name to the bottom left corner. So the two apps that I tend to recommend in addition to this are either Pixelmator or Affinity. What I love about both of them, no subscription service. We're going to start to dive into some of the details of the application. So at this point, I'm going to drag this photo of a cat right into Photo Lemur. And the first thing I want you to see is just without doing anything right out of the box, take a look at the before and after. That's pretty cool. Look at how much detail you don't see and then boom, suddenly you do see it. So uh, at this point, let's click on this little paintbrush down here at the bottom. Now what you will see is that when you first drag a photo into Photo Lemur, it immediately hits it with 100% of the effect. So if that's a little too much for you, you can always dial it back a bit. If you want to change up the look a little bit more, you might want to consider checking out some of the various styles, also known as filters, down here at the bottom left. 
These are the styles that come with Photo Lemur. There are more that you can get. They come in packages, and those are available if you just simply click the little plus button over there on the right-hand side. So, for example, here's our kitty with the Apollo style added to it. So it kind of brings out some of the lighter points in the image. Looks pretty good to me. Let's see it with a different one. Here it is with Fall. So in this case, you can see it's really bringing out the oranges and the red tones in our image. Now, at the beginning of this video, I made a reference to those of you who may have older photos that you still need to digitize. Uh, if that applies to you, I encourage you to check out a free app which is made by Google called Google Photo Scan. And the way that it basically works is you just trace over the four corners of the photo using your smartphone and it figures out what part of the image is a reflection, which it then deletes, leaving behind the original image. So uh, if you have never checked out that app, it's a really great one to download, and it's especially good if you actually have your photos in an album, because then you can just really quickly go through the entire album, and in no time flat, you'll find that your photos are all digitized. The last feature we're going over today specifically shows up in photos that have people in them, so let me pull up this photo of these two kids to demonstrate. By the way, this particular photo is a stock photo, so I'm letting you know that ahead of time because I know the before and after effect won't be very dramatic since I'm sure it's already been touched up. So if you look here next to the effects slider, you'll see two additional options, face enhancement and eye enlargement. One of the things that I have found about these different effects is that depending on how far the camera is from the subject, these features do work well, but the closer that you get to the subject, I recommend dialing down the slider. This is one of those features where a little bit goes a long way and too much tends to make you look a little bit like a cartoon. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Keep in mind, if you'd ever like to take a private lesson with yours truly, that is something that I enjoy doing, especially in the off season here. So if you ever wanna sign up, take a lesson with me, you can find out all of the information on my website at techtalkamerica.com slash private lessons. Thank you for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, class dismissed.